Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplifies Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to look at Henry Fayol's uh, Principles of Management. Now this is a pioneering work which actually led to the development of business administration as we know it today. Now Henry Fayol was a managing director in a large French mining corporation for most of his life. Uh, drawing upon his vast experience, uh, he came up with a general theory of business administration. So he firstly broke management down into five distinct elements which we're going to look at to begin with. Uh, the first element is forecasting and planning. Now this means looking into the future and drawing up action plans. But the action plans drawn up should be flexible, accurate and very spe as specific as possible. The next element is organizing, which means ensuring the material and human capacity requirements are met. The next is commanding, which means, uh, which means to gain a thorough understanding of the requirements of the people uh, who are actually performing the tasks, uh, performing audits on these people, and uh, being a commander actually means setting a good example by you know leading the way by leading the way and setting a good example for others to follow coordinating this means uh, determining the timing and sequencing of the actual activities to be performed uh, with optimal results in your mind now controlling this means ensuring that things go as per the plans which were set out now errors, there's, there's always going to be errors and errors and deviations from the plan should be monitored and corrective actions should then be taken. Now on the basis of these uh, elements, these elements are simple uh, and easy to understand and on the basis of these elements he actually developed 14 essential principles of management uh, with a view to improving managerial effectiveness. Now what are these uh, principles? The first principle is division of work. This means ensuring employees are given specialized roles. Now, when employees are specialized, the output will increase. This is because they become increasingly skilled and efficient because of repeatedly doing the same thing and their efficiency levels will go up and this will actually result in continuous improvement. Authority. Managers must have the authority to give orders, but they must also keep in mind that with authority comes responsibility discipline now obviously every organization must have uh, a certain amount of discipline discipline must be upheld but this is always a two-way equation employees obey orders if management provides good leadership this is very relevant uh, even in this uh, day and age of technology and uh, various ways where managers uh, tend to uh, organize and manage their teams unity of command employees should only have one direct supervisor to avoid conflicting lines of command now having various different supervisors can actually create a very chaotic sort of situation and it is very important for the organization to be structured in a way that this is avoided unity of direction teams with the same objectives here should be working under the direction of one manager using one plan quite interesting and this will automatically ensure that the action is uh, properly coordinated okay so the next principle is subordination of individual interests to the general interest of the organization the in basically the interest of of employees is very important but the interests of any one employee should not be allowed to become more important than the interests of the group and more so the organization this will include managers as well the interests of organizations should always come before any individual interest now if you want to look at an example here now in this in this situation where we've got a global pandemic and a lot of companies are are struggling uh, the companies that are faring uh, reasonably all right and will continue to fare all right are the are the other companies but are the organizations where the management has been uh, looking at the requirements of the uh, of the organization before their own requirements you see organizations being stable is one of the most important things in business 
Now the next point is uh, next principle is remuneration. Now employee satisfaction depends on fair remuneration for everybody. This includes financial and non-financial compensation. So remuneration is also uh, compensation. Sorry, it's a bit of a tongue twister for me. <laughs> uh, steps should be taken always to encourage employee productivity and prevent abuse of any compensation system. So the system here should be designed in such a way that employees should receive fair amount of compensation, but the compensation should be should be dependent on the productivity provided by the employee. Centralization. This refers to how close employees are to the decision making process really. It is important to aim for a balance here. Balance is the key word here. Uh, the next principle is scalar chain. Now employees should be aware of where they stand in the organization. It's always important for the, org for the, for the employees to understand where they actually stand, what is their status in the organizational hierarchy or the chain of command. The next principle is order. The workplace facilities must always be orderly. They must always be clean, tidy and safe for employees. If the employees don't feel that they're safe, then it will have an effect on pr their productivity. Now, duplication and waste should always be avoided. And this is a part of uh, ensuring that things are in order. Equity. Managers should be fair to all members of staff at all times. Discipline should be ma maintained uh, and discipline should be enforced when necessary. Uh, but, but it's also important to act with kindness and, and maintain a balance between, you know, kindness and justice. Okay, now these are big words thrown around here, but it's the most important thing is uh, is to understand that uh, there must be a discipline that the that the employees are expected to follow, and if that discipline is not maintained, if if people don't fall in line, then uh, there has to be justice, but it has to be in a balanced way. You can't basically just hire and fire uh, personnel, and that's the next point really stability of tenure of personnel. Now managers should, should strive to minimize employee turnover. Personnel planning and organizational stability should always be prioritized. So basically point number 11 and 12 kind of go hand in hand with one another. Now the next one is initiative. Employees should always be given the necessary level of freedom really to, to create and, and implement their plans. There should always be a uh, a chance, uh, an opportunity for employees to actually exercise their their free will in terms of their creative freedoms. Initiative can be a great source of organizational growth. Now, the last point is Spirit de Corps, which essentially means that organizations should strive to promote team spirit and unity. If people are united, their morales are high and they tend to enjoy their jobs and this this automatically leads to a higher level of employee satisfaction and it ultimately leads to higher productivity levels okay so those were the principles now it's it's very important to understand why henry file is uh, quoted as one of the founding fathers of the administration school schools that we have the administration schooling system that we have today he was one of the first authors to look at organizations top down to identify management as a process and then to break it down logically really. Now this study laid uh, the foundation of management and business administration training as we know today because uh, he has basically uh, taught us to look at management in a way where it's a process, it can be looked at top down and the most important cogs in the wheel are right at the top basically. Okay, so that was a simplified version of uh, the principles of management by Henry File. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you very much for all your support you provided so far. I hope you continue supporting this channel for future content. Leave a like, subscribe to this channel and please please use the comments section to uh, to recommend further video topics
Thanks very much. Bye-bye.